So if you'll allow me, it'd be my pleasure to serve up a tasty helping of what I call Reno Collier's Country Fried Take. All right. <laughs> well, along with my wife's cell phone plan and my daughter's car insurance, it looks like I'll be helping to pay for another thing that doesn't benefit me at all. Oh, no. <laughs> the student loans of other people's kids. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, as a Southern gentleman, I'm all for helping those out in need and giving them a little assistance. I remember one time when I was growing up, Clive Phillips was having trouble making payments on his combine harvester. So a bunch of area families took up a collection to help keep him square until he could get back on his feet. He was a hard worker who'd hit some tough times, and we were happy to help him. You know what we didn't do? Give everybody in the country with a tractor $10,000, regardless of whether they needed it or not. <laughs> Now, there are plenty of hardworking college graduates out there who could use a financial break and who will actually put this money towards positive and productive things. But we all know a lot of this dough is going to lazy, spoiled, TikTok-addicted basement dwellers who feel they're somehow exempt from personal responsibility and are entitled to what you and I have rightfully earned. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is why I propose we hold interviews for those with student loan debt to see if they deserve our help, and if so, how much. Oh, oh you're a teacher who served in the military and drives an 18-wheeler in the summer, and you're a foster parent. Your student loan debt is now gone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're an unemployed aspiring social media influencer who still lives with mommy and daddy, and you majored in 17th century Icelandic poetry with a minor in canine gender studies? Uh -oh. You're paying every damn cent, jackass. <laughs> He's talking about canine gender studies. I don't know if that's... That was a minor? <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like this case-by-case -case approach, then you're really going to hate my other idea. Fist fights. <laughs> If you want student loan forgiveness, you'll have the opportunity to throw down with someone who's A, already paid off their student loans without anyone else's help, or B, never went to college because they feared they'd never be able to pay back their student loans. Mm. And whoever wins gets the $10,000 a piece. Now, you may be thinking, hey, I'm in decent shape. I can win a fight. <laughs> but remember the kinds of people you'll be up against. Construction workers, soldiers, cops, stay-at-home moms, strong, <laughs> determined folks who would like nothing better than to beat the hell out of a sniveling underachiever like you looking to steal bread off the table. I want this like Braveheart. I want all the little tofu Starbucks people at one end. I want all the cops, military, and construction workers at the other end and, and go straight Braveheart. Just go running directly into each other, arms swinging, legs kicking. There will be hammers, nails, and coexist bumper stickers flying everywhere. <laughs> Now, maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe my anger is misdirected. Maybe I should be mad at those in government who are giving in to all the online belly aching and whiny hashtags and attempt to literally buy votes. Maybe I should be mad at the folks doing the forgiving and not the folks getting forgived. Because, hey... <laughs> If there was talk of mortgage forgiveness, alimony forgiveness, forgiveness for the debt of the tools I had to buy to work construction for two hours during COVID to pay for my kids' freaking college, <laughs> you better believe I'd be sitting here with my fingers crossed browsing online for a new bass boat. <laughs> so, whatever. I'll help you pay off your college law degree so long as you defend me pro bono when I get in a fist fight at a bar and knock somebody out over my argument on loan forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Reno Collier, and that's this week's Country Fried Take. Yeah. Oh, nice. You're fired up about those tofu Woo. Starbucks. Time. I don't like them. <laughs> Never have.